CADMEET interface is exactly similar to AutoCAD. This is the ribbon panels where we have CAD tools arranged. This is the ribbon tabs where we have ribbon panels. And this is the drawing editor where the drawing related activities are carried out. This is the command window where we can directly input the commands for the desired functions. And finally, in the bottom, we have the status bar. If we get to the back end interface, even the options available there are exactly similar to AutoCAD. Now, coming back to the compatibility, CADMATE saves in .dwg format and supports the latest 2018 .dwg format and it can open files dated back of r14.dwg files. Even the commands and shortcuts are similar to AutoCAD like L for line, C for circle and so on. Now coming back to the features, we have some additional 5 to 6 features which are not there in any other CAD softwares. The first option is Symmetric Draw. If we come to the status bar, there is an option called Enable Symmetric Draw. Now if we right click on the icon and go to Setting, a dialog box will prompt out with a couple of options. In the supported object, let's select the option Select All and click OK. Now let's draw a polyline and make this as a symmetric axis using this icon. Now if we go back to the status bar and enable the symmetric draw and if we execute any commands the symmetric to that object will be created on the other end. All the supported options like line, rectangle, circle and arc. At any point you want to disable this option, go to the status bar and click on the icon to disable it. And the same can be repeated if you want to enable it back again. So Symmetric Draw is an advanced version of Mirror Command. Magnifier. The second option is Magnifier. From the status bar, select this icon to enable Magnifier. Once you enable it, place the crosshair at the point where you want to zoom into the drawing and press the scroll button once. As you can see, it will zoom into that particular point. Moreover, it is a transparent command where you can do modifications in your drawing. Click the scroll button again to exit the command. You can change the magnifier style and shape from the settings. Magnifier is more often used to quickly zoom into some objects which are not visible clearly by using a single click. Auto layer. The third option is auto layer. As the name symbolifies, the name auto layer will create the layers automatically based on the commands. Let's say command line is frequently used in HVAC layer and the command linear dimension is frequently used in the layer dim. Let's go to the auto layer setting from the status bar. Before that, let's go to layer properties manager. As you can see here, we have two predefined layers. Clear the default settings. Let's create a new settings. As mentioned earlier, in the command, let's input line and let's say it is frequently used in the layer HVAC and choose the color and line type settings. Similarly, the second command will be dim linear and the corresponding layer will be dim and choose color and line type setting. 
Now, if we execute the command line, it will be drawn on the default layer O. But when we activate the auto layer and execute the command line, it will take the properties which were set in auto layer settings. And similar the same with the dim linear command. Now, if we go to layer properties manager, by default all the layers which were set in auto layer would be added here. You can disable it at any point as per the user requirement. This in turn reduces your steps and improves your work efficiency. Area table. The fourth option is area table. When you have multiple area in your drawing and you want to calculate the areas of those objects and to tabulate it within the drawing editor, there is an option called Area Table under the Express menu. When you click Area Table, a dialog box prompts out with a couple of options. Under the text setting, we have two options called Dim Area and Dim Number. First, let's go with Dim Area option. From the table setting, click Create Table. Under Transform Units, you can transform your units from square millimeter to square meter or to any desired ones. Once all settings are made, click OK. It will automatically ask to specify a point to insert the table. With just a single click, the table will be inserted in the drawing area. From the options, select Object and click the desired objects for which area needs to be calculated. The corresponding area will be directly reflected back in the table. Moreover, the option is parametric. Once you try to modify the object, the changes will be reflected back in the table. Now, let's undo this. We will execute the command once again and choose the second option, Dim Number. Pick a point to insert the table. Select the object to get the area. Now, if we try to modify the number by giving the space name, the changes will be reflected back in the table. Area table command makes the calculation looks easier. AutoXLS, the fifth option is AutoXLS. It's very useful in quantity takeoff. Most draftsmen found this option very beneficial. The option is available under Express tab. If you click Create Table from Auto XLS function, it will directly open the Excel linked within your system. The interface will be exactly similar. Only one extra tab called Add-ins will be added along with it. When you click the Insert function, a dialog box opens with three different modules. 1. Block Calculate 2. Area Calculate 3. Length Calculate So here, in our drawing, we have two blocks. Let me list it for you. The name of the first block is Door and the name of the second one is Window. Now, let's create a copy of these objects. Let's go back to Auto AutoXLS table, then click Create Table. We will do some basic modification here, like center to center align and give the outline for the table. And also, let's specify some parameters as well. Now, let's go back to Add-in, Insert function and choose the first option called Block Calculate. Once we drop down this menu, all the blocks available within the drawing editor will be displayed here. Choose the desired one and click OK. Similarly for the second one. Now let's save the Excel file and export it to the drawing. The option is parametric and now if we do any copy or delete function, the changes will be reflected back in the table. Now let's say we need to calculate the area or perimeter of some objects. In Auto AutoXLS table, there is an option called Selection Management. Once you select that option, a dialog prompts with a couple of more options. 
One is to calculate the area and the other one is to calculate the perimeter. So in user defined selection, let's choose area and specify the required name and choose the objects required. So it will be added up in the group name. The second option is to calculate length. Give the group name and choose the objects. It will get added up under the group name. Let's choose edit table function from auto XLS table. Click on top of the created table. It will direct you back to the Excel file. Update the group name in the table. Now go to add-ins, insert function and choose area calculate. Once you select the drop down menu, group name updated will be visible. Choose the desired group name and click OK. The corresponding area will be displayed. Similarly, do the same to calculate the length. So now we have both area and perimeter as well. Click save. It will then get updated with the table in the drawing. And if we do any changes, the values will be updated accordingly. Let's say if we want to add some objects to the existing values, let's say to the perimeter, just go to selection management, pick the group name where you want to add it and click add and select the object. Once you click close, the values will get added up. So AutoXLS table proves to be a quite efficient tool for estimation purposes.